What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. And tonight's ending of SmackDown was fantastic. There was excitement. There was definitely some confusion. There was hype. It's just so many range of emotions for the ending of this show and so much implications going forward into Elimination Chamber and WrestleMania. We got to talk about it. Shout out to everyone that was a part of the live stream. You guys showed up tonight, and I understand why. This was a must-see SmackDown, at least for that last 30 minutes. It was must-see. There was some good stuff on the show as well. And the rumors were rumbling all day today on Twitter. I wasn't sure how true they were, but we're going to get right into that. We also got to talk about what they're doing with the Bailey story and who was she's going to choose to face at this year's WrestleMania. We're going to talk about that as well. But first, we got to get into what happened at the end of this show. So we all knew Roman and Cody were going to have a talk. Cody essentially was going to decide who he was going to face at this year's WrestleMania. Roman comes out there, does his normal entrance, and then Roman says, you know what? Since Seth Rollins want to try to cook me on Monday Night Raw, I got something for him. So before he addressed Cody to even come out there, he spent some time cooking Seth Rollins. And boy, oh boy, the disrespect was at an all-time high. So he started off the promo before he even addressed Cody Rhodes, and I already knew this was about to be something uh, something spicy. He was about to start cooking it up. So he said, let me address Seth Rollins. The crowd didn't really pop for his name. You know how wrestlers address a certain wrestler, and whenever the wrestler's name is said, they pop? There was no reaction, really. So he said, let me address Seth Rollins. He waited, and he said, exactly, no pop. I was like, oh, no. Oh, we, we're, we're already here. So he's already trying to down him as a joke. He essentially told him, Seth Rollins has a lot to say. My little brother has a lot to say about me and his championship being the premier championship, him being the guy, when all the people that are fighting for your championship, I've already beaten you. So that's really a second tier bracket a second tier title he already essentially buried the title at that point because it's kind of true it is the secondary title we know this they created it because roman had the universal and the wwe championship before they unified those so so that was one thing then he started talking about oh you're the workhorse champion right how you're the workhorse champion and a few months in your back was broke back all messed up or you're the workhorse champion, but, and then he started mocking him. You got a bump knee. You're walking around with a limp. And then he started going in. You're the guy? The guy that comes out here and wears his wife's clothes? Like, he's cooking this guy. And then he brought up the point, oh, you feel some type of way because I work less than you? You're right. I do work less than you. In fact, I work 10 times less than you. But I make 10 times more money than you. I'm like, bro, he's all the things he's saying, low key kind of factual. Because I'm sure Roman's contract is way more than Seth Rollins money wise. So after he said, I make way more money than you, 10 times more than you, he decides to ask the people, hey, who would y'all rather be? Seth Rollins or Roman Reigns, who makes the most money? It's an obvious question. And then he posed the question to Cody. Now, Cody, I'm not about to sit up here and beg you to fight me. If you want to fight the number two guy, go ahead. But if you want to fight the guy, the number one guy, you already know what to do. And I love that. Just, just disrespectful. And I'm here for it. When Roman's disrespectful, he be cooking. 
He be having some of the best promos. Loved it, loved it, loved it. So great to see how far he has come promo-wise and being so comfortable in what he was saying compared to when they were trying to push the baby face, the big dog, Roman. It, it's night and day. Cody comes out there, does his entrance. They cut to commercial break, which I kind of didn't like. I wish they would have cut to commercial break during Roman's long-ass entrance. But cut to commercial break and come back. And you got everybody in the ring, obviously. So Cody's like, hey, let's let's I want this to be a, a personal situation. You know, tell everybody to get out the ring. This this only involves me and you. So Solo gets out, Jimmy gets out. Um I think Paul Heyman, he kind of backs away. But he's still not, like kind of in the ring, but he, he kind of backs away. But just Solo and Jimmy out the ring. And he starts off by saying, I had counsel with few pe- a few people today. Some of my friends, colleagues, some legends. And he paused there and my ears perked. I was like, wait a minute. Hold on. Now, I've been seeing all day the rumors were that The Rock was supposed to be there tonight. And there was pictures of The Rock in, in, uh, in Alabama where they were at in the gym. So when it sent it to me, so I was like, ah, I don't want to say anything, but I'm not sure. Could be a coincidence, but at the same time, we'll see what's going on there. So when he said legends, I was like, uh oh, and he paused on it. So after Cody had talked about having counsel with, you know, friends, you know, colleagues and and legends, he brought up the point that Roman cheated him last year. He said, You cheated me, Roman. I had you beat more than anybody else you've ever faced. I had you. And you cheated me. And, you know, Roman has a smug face. Like, what are you talking about? Whatever. And then he started to talk about what Seth said. He said, Seth made a lot of great points, but I have to disagree with him on the fact that that championship, and he pointed to the WWE championship, is the Hollywood championship. You know, Paul Heyman showing it up, and, you know, Roman's kind of facially agreeing with him. And he's like, that's not the Hollywood championship. That's the championship that Bruno San Martino held. A lot of great legends have held this title. My father once held it and it was taken away from him. So no, it's not the Hollywood championship. That's the championship I want. And then he brought up brought up finishing the story. It's like, okay, what let's define actually finishing the story. It's not only just winning that championship. It's it's more than that. It's bigger than that. See, you claim to own everything in WWE. You own this ring. You own production. You know, you essentially own these people out here. And Roman's like, yeah. You you claim you own everything in WWE. But taking that title doesn't just finish the story for me. No, no, no. That doesn't complete it. I have to take everything from you all of this that you quote unquote own i have to take all of it from you now i'm I'm just my ears are perking up again because i'm like okay he's mentioning taking not just the title everything from him he he wants to destroy roman to there's nothing left so he lets him know i will i'm going to take the title from you i'm going to finish the story just not at WrestleMania. I was shocked. I'm like, what's going on here? What? Not at WrestleMania. Everyone building is like, what? Even Roman and Paul, are like, what are you talking about? Not at WrestleMania. He's like, you see, like I said earlier, I had counsel. And I had counsel with someone that really knows you. And once he said that, I was like, it's The Rock. And even though I had a feeling with him, hearing the, if you smell the music, I was like, oh, it's The Rock. Instantly, obviously, we saw the reaction, went fucking crazy. And it was, uh, it's always good to see The Rock. And I know some people in the chat was like, oh, he's just giving up his story. Oh, is he giving him the Royal Rumble win? I don't think that was the case. Because once again, he didn't say when. All he said was, it's not going to be at WrestleMania that I take that title from you. So 
I'm not. It's, I mean, there's only one other place he could possibly take the title from him before WrestleMania. So, Rock comes out there, huge pop. He gets into the ring. He sees Cody Rose, and they shake hands. Once again, y'all, y'all got to pay attention to these small details. He brought him out. He's already said he's talked to him. He's had counsel, and he knows he knows him very well. Cody's not going out this the same way because he can't because he knows he can't do the same thing he did last year. He has to have help here. He has to have some backup, some insurance. So they shook hands. Rock whispered something to him, and then he gets out the ring. And then it's Rock, Roman. Roman's looking kind of stunned. Roman gets the championship. They walk slowly to each other. They don't say a word. Crowd's going crazy. Crazy. This is awesome. Crowd's losing it. This is a very big moment. Very big moment. And it goes off air. And it's one of those things where it's like, man, I I honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't know where this goes, but we talked about it at the end of the live stream. It's not a bad thing. I know some people are already saying, oh, Cody gave up his story. I don't think that's the case. I don't think we got that. He didn't say, hey, I'm giving up my Royal Rumble win to The Rock. No. I think, and I think uh, the reports are he may be, uh, Cody's going to be on SmackDown next week. I think we may get The Rock challenging Roman at the Elimination Chamber instead of WrestleMania because guess what? He can do that. He's a Royal Rumble winner. I think that's what they're going to do. I think he's going to have him challenge him at the Royal, at the Elimination Chamber, and they're going to go from there. And I think this time is going to be different because The Rock will come into the picture and he will assist Cody in making sure there's no outside interference from, um, from uh, Solo or Jimmy. I think it's a situation you don't have to have him as a special guest referee. Don't do that. That's a little bit too obvious. Have him come out because we know Roman's going to cheat. He's going to cheat. It's going to be a situation where I can see them having a, uh, uh, some promo back and forth. You went to go get help from The Rock. Rock's not going to help you. What, you, what, you think he's going to help you? What, he gave you some advice that you think is going to help you going against me? Like, and Roman's going to get cocky because he doesn't really think The Rock is going to get involved. He doesn't see that. So, what's going to happen? I can see Solo trying to interfere as usual. <laughs> Maybe Solo or Jimmy. And The Rock takes them out. He stops them from doing that. The Rock don't put his hands on Roman at all. Because you wait for that. You save that. The Rock doesn't even have to touch him. Roman's looking confused, like, what the hell are you doing? And obviously, ref was going to be knocked out or incapacitated. And that's when Cody takes advantage, hits him with three crossroads, and he wins the WWE Championship. It may, it's not going to be at WrestleMania, but it's going to be at a big show nonetheless. And then you can start building towards, if you want to do it, you can build towards that, towards WrestleMania. Because I, I don't see them bringing out The Rock so soon again, only for it to not happen at this year's WrestleMania. And you can go from there. That's what I got from this. We don't really know, so we're going to have to see going forward. Now, before I end this video, I got to talk about the Bailey uh, making her, de her decision. Rhea was in the back watching the entire time. And before we got to Bailey making her decision, Bailey could hear EO and them basically saying it's over for Bailey tonight. Like she's done. But they didn't know she was listening. So you see her behind them, like, okay. They go out there. Bailey is, you know, basically telling, you know, what she wanted damage control to be. And the entire time she's giving a promo. All <laughs> EO and the Kabuki Warriors, they're all just laughing at her. Just laughing at her. And every time she turned back around, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. And you knew what was up. 
And even with Bailey, she knew what was up. And she even was like, you know, maybe I should go after Rhea. And then she heard them laughing. And then she changed her tune. She's like, or just maybe, maybe I should go after someone else. <laughs> and then that's when things started to switch up. And she was like, what's funny? Y'all keep laughing behind my back. And then she even spoke a little bit of Japanese to them, which surprised her, everybody. He's like, oh, y'all, y'all thought I didn't know what y'all were saying. Y'all keep talking behind my back. Y'all been talking behind my back for a while. Y'all thought I didn't know. Y'all thought I didn't know after all I've done for y'all. Really? Y'all, you, you just going to sit up there and think I'm not. I've been in this business too long. I'm, I'm aware of certain situations. I like what they did there. And that's when they decided to jump her or whatever. They're attacking her and stomping on her and stuff like that. And Bailey gets to the edge of the ring. And obviously, she kind of probably, you know, knew what, what was going to happen here. So she got an equalizer by, by the ring steps. And she pulls out her lead pipe. They didn't see it. And she starts attacking uh, Asuka with the lead pipe. She also attacks Kyrie Sane with the lead pipe. And... She's about to hit the lead pipe uh, or use the lead pipe on EO while EO is trying to defend herself with the title. But then they get her out the ring. Uh, you know, Asuka and Kyrie saying they get her out the ring. The ring. Bailey picks up the mic and said, you know what? At WrestleMania, I will be facing you, EO, for the women's championship. Boom. And there you go. And crowd went crazy. And at this point, Bailey's pretty much a baby face, and I loved it. They have been cooking this story for quite some time, so I thought this was very dope how they did this. This was pretty dope, and I'm looking forward to their match. I'm looking forward to seeing how the feud's going to play out. Dakota wasn't there. She tweeted, what's going on, guys? Broken heart emoji. So it's really going to be interesting. Where does Dakota loyalty lies? I'm really looking forward to that because right now Bailey's outnumbered, so... It's going to be a very interesting build. I was glad they did this. We knew this was coming, and it was enjoyable. We got Bailey versus EO already confirmed from WrestleMania, uh, WrestleMania 40. So, should be a good one. But, yep, tonight's SmackDown was just insane with the, the storytelling and, and what's about to happen at WrestleMania uh, 40 this year. Comment down below. Let me know what y'all thoughts on the whole Cody Rock Roman situation. What do you guys think is going to happen? Do y'all think we're going to get that match between Cody and The Rock at Elimination Chamber? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love support you guys shown on the channel. Roll to 150K and I'm still here on the speed of YouTube. Rest of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See you on the next one. Peace.